James, now I know the recruitment process across all boards of all businesses is one of the toughest things that you ever have to encounter because if you want good people in the business, then you need to recruit in the right way. On the flip side to that, getting rid of the wrong people is even tougher than getting the right people in, I would say, because when you've got the wrong people and you already know that they're the wrong people, when you're employing new people, you're not sure whether they're gonna be right or not. Is there anything that you've come across that you could probably share that really highlights whether you've got the right or the wrong people inside the business? I think you're exactly right. I think it is tough to find the right people. It's the same as your body, right? You wanna get fit, you put good stuff in. Same as a company. If you wanna hit your goals and hit your targets, you've gotta put good people in. So finding good people is, is so, so important. But then so is also filtering out the wrong people. And they could be the wrong people for a number of different reasons, Tim. They, they, they could be because they're negative. That always drives me nuts. Maybe they're just not good enough to do the job. Maybe they're not teachable enough. Maybe they're not intelligent enough. So it could be a number of reasons. And, and when you're getting rid of these people, you just have to believe that it's right for them that they move on and it's right for the company. And when I say it's right for them, they move on. They must know if they're stuck in a job, which is going to end up going nowhere. Much, much better that you cut them loose nice and quickly and let them go and find something that they're more suited to. And of course, for the company, yeah, if you've got if you've got if you've got people inside an office that aren't right, it's like a football team, right? If you've got a core people in a football team, a core straight down the middle, a defender, a midfielder, and a striker that aren't good enough for that team, they're the core. Very difficult to add in people to a football team that's got uh, a bad core. Does that make sense? Yeah, so, I mean, well, well, the foundations are already broken, the right? The foundations are broken. Yeah. You can't build a house if you've not got solid foundations. Yeah. It's exactly the same as an office yeah. or a business. So yeah, both things are very important. First of all, trying to find the right people to put in, first of all, and getting rid of people when they're not right. So in, in your business and in your experience of working in Devere, is there a particular type of trait or skill set that not that, not that people have to have, but just on a personal level for maybe you as a manager and maybe as the business that you look for because that's show, they show signs of potential track record wise. So you've seen people like this come into the business before. I know we've spoken about different various people and industries that they've been in and then they've come in and absolutely smashed it. Is there, is there any pattern uh, that you could probably say normally takes place in order for you to get good people or successful people or people that become successful in yeah. the business? Great question. I think it's different for every manager. Each manager will have uh, a set of skills that they're looking for, a set of attributes that they're looking for in a candidate. For me, it's very, very simple. I like people that are competitive because I'm competitive. Um, I like people that are teachable, much, much easier to teach someone that's teachable, to show them, to help them learn if they're teachable. And sometimes that means they're a blank canvas. Just because someone's done 20 years in the financial services industry, that doesn't mean that they're gonna succeed within us, right? They might have a, a lot of set, um, a set way of doing things. And if they're not teachable, if they're not willing to change that to fit our business model, it's not gonna work. So actually sometimes, Tim, a blank canvas, is actually better for us because we can teach them exactly uh, exactly how we want to do it. So someone that's competitive, um, someone that's teachable, and you know what the most important thing is? Is someone that I get on with, all right? I want to work with people that I get on with. I want to get on with, I want to work with people that are positive. Um, if I don't get on with people, and if they're not positive people, I'm probably not going to give them my full attention, which is what they deserve. So those are the three things, people I get on with, people that are super competitive, and people that are teachable. And if there's um, one person, or, or if there's one person that you would love to really get in the business right now, that maybe there's a hole or there's a void, uh, and somebody's listening or watching this or knows somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody, because you know that's how it works, yep, right? Yeah, yeah. Is there, is there any particular person, I know we've just gone over some of the traits of people, but is there is there normally like one person that's just like rocket fuel, and when he comes in, it's just okay, like, so Jesus, see, this, this guy or girl is like exactly what we needed. There's, there's one person that I would love to bring into the business. Um, fantastic manager, lives in London, and he's out of work at the moment. So Jose Mourinho, if you're watching, we are looking for good managers. Come along, come on board. <laughs> Please do subscribe, hit the button.